Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, AW609 program prepares for icing trials. Majority of voters oppose privatizing ATC. Van Horn Aviation achieves first flight of 206L main blades. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's February 14th and this is Airborne Unlimited. The next generation of rotorcraft are proving to be intense development projects, but the AW609 is soldiering on. The AW609 tilt rotor program is expected to start icing trials soon following recent ground and flight testing activities. These advances have been made in support of FAA certification, which reportedly remains on track for 2018. The third airframe prototype based at Leonardo's facility in Philadelphia performed several weeks of unrestrained ground testing and more recently flight trials that allowed avionics and all systems to be fully tested. During initial flights, the aircraft performed basic hovering and maneuvering in patterns around the airport, concluding with hover landing. Additional flights up to altitudes of 4,000 feet with short takeoff and landing are planned shortly. The aircraft will undergo icing trials in Marquette, Michigan through the winter. The tests are conducted to ensure that the AW609 can fly in known icing conditions and reach operational standards not currently available in any other commercial aircraft. The fourth AW609 prototype is now located within the main production area of Philadelphia's facilities assembly line to ensure a smooth transition to the first production aircraft also planned for 2018. This could be one of the aviation's world's biggest conflicts for the next several years. Over 60% of voters recently polled oppose privatizing the operations of the air traffic control system by taking it from the FAA and turning it over to a nonprofit corporation, according to a recent telephone survey. The survey was conducted by Global Strategy Group, they found that over 60% opposed privatizing the air traffic control functions of the FAA. Fully 62% opposed privatizing the ATC functions of the FAA by taking it from the FAA and turning it over to a nonprofit corporation, while 26% support it. Nearly 3 in 4 voters, 74%, give the FAA a positive job rating overall, while only 10% say it does a not so good or poor job. When asked more specifically to rate the job the FAA does operating the nation's air traffic control system, 88% of voters said the FAA does an excellent or good job, while only 8% rate the FAA negatively. Voters pleased with the FAA simply see no reason to privatize it. Opposition is consistent across all key demographics, including age, gender, education, region of the country, and party affiliation. After the break, Van Horn Aviation is flying their new Bell 206L rotor blades. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airboard Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Van Horn Aviation celebrated first flight of its composite 206L main rotor blades on February 8th, completing ground tests. Hover flight forward flight reaching speeds of more than 100 knots and turns with up to 45 degrees of banking during the test session at Falcon Field in Mesa, Arizona. 
BHA President Dean Rosenloff said, quote, While our Long Ranger main blade is based off the 206B Jet Ranger blade that we certificated last year, we made some modifications to the design beyond just a 22-inch increase in length. So the 206L is essentially a new blade. We're thrilled that our Long Ranger blades performed well enough to go from ground to hover to 100 knots and turns in our first test session. Like the VHA 206B main rotor blade, the VHA 206L blade features carbon fiber skin and spars, an efficient NASA designed laminar flow airfoil taper tip, and a combination of stainless steel and nickel abrasion strips that cover the entire length of the blade for erosion and lightning strike protection. VHA expects FAA certification of the Long Ranger main rotor blades by the end of 2017 with a 20,000 hour service life and overhauls over 5,000 hours. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. With less than a month to go, ANN is ready for 2017 AEA Convention and Trade Show, March 13 through 16 in New Orleans, Louisiana. The 60th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show is a pivotal opportunity to connect with manufacturers, distributors, technicians, and business leaders as they shape the future of avionics together. Featuring 75 plus hours of regulatory, technical, and business training, and over 135 exhibitors. As always, ANN and Airborne will be webcasting live from the convention, starting with a new product introduction session and adding two additional days of live interviews and features. Check it all out at www.airborne-live.net and www.aea.net. How would you like to fly aboard the legendary Ford Tri-Motor? Here's your chance. This week from February 16th to 19th in Marathon, Florida, at Marathon General Aviation on the east side of the field, you can climb aboard one of the first mass-produced airlines and step back in time to aviation's golden age. A flight on EAA's 4 tri motor is a flight back to an era where air travel was considered a luxury. For more information, log on to their website. And finally, don't forget that the AMA Expo held in California in January is now being duplicated on the East Coast with what the Academy of Model Aeronautics calls the AMA Expo East. It all takes place starting on February 24th and runs through February 26th at the Meadowlands Exposition Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. It touches every aspect of model aviation from rocketry to RC airplanes to drones. The AMA is all about model aircraft fun and they toss in a good dose of education and the promotion of STEM activities as well. After these messages, who was it that flew too close to Air Force One? There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Come experience the best of model aviation at the AMA Expo East in Secaucus, New Jersey. 100 booths, flying demos, make and take activities for kids, and many guest speakers including AMA Ambassador Hoot Gibson. Visit amaexpo.com to get your tickets and we'll see you February 24th to 26th. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA is investigating an incident in which a private aircraft closed to within two nautical miles of Air Force One as it approached Palm Beach International Airport February 3rd. Sources said that there was no risk of collision because the aircrafts were flying parallel courses. When the Airline Safety and FAA Extension Act of 2010 became law, 
It set a standard of 1,500 hours for a civilian pilot to qualify to become an airline pilot. But the standard for military pilots is 750 hours. And Air Force Chief of Staff General David Golfein says it's contributing to a shortage of military pilots. Leonardo has confirmed its participation in the U.S. Air Force TX competition with its T-100 integrated training system. The T-100 is the latest generation jet trainer based on the M346 aircraft. The T-100 also features an embedded tactical training system that immerses pilots in realistic mission scenarios. Wellington, Kansas, just south of Wichita, is the home of airplane services. This year marking 40 years creating extreme performance upgrades for thousands of Cessna piston aircraft around the globe. The foundation of the company's success is in their giving Cessna 172, 180, and 182 owners a turnkey solution for higher horsepower engines. Duncan Aviation has completed a fully customized Challenger 605 interior and exterior that took a former charter jet and transformed it into a proud company showcase for its new owner. The interior team and paint shop in Battle Creek, Michigan started with a dated interior and exterior and completely redesigned, refurbished, and repainted the entire aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Drone racing continues to pick up support as it demonstrates that such a futuristic sport can gather huge eyeballs online and in person. And here's the next step. A multi-year global partnership has been inked between the Drone Racing League and the Allianz Insurance brand. Allianz will be the title sponsors of DRL's race series. Allianz World Championship Series will include six races in 2017. The races will begin airing in June on channels such as ESPN and Sky in over 75 countries. The series will feature 16 pilots, each flying a DRL custom racing drone through three-dimensional race courses in Miami, New Orleans, Atlanta, Boston, Munich, and London. The series is an elimination-style competition that culminates in a world championship and the crowning of the world's greatest drone pilot. Allianz World Championship Series will run for six races during the year. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.